so welcome to another episode of garage 96 and today we're gonna be doing oil change on my g37 got the oil oil purple okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is um check and then buy the right oil mine uses 5w30 and i use a uh, royal purple with a royal purple filter as well So you can either jack up the car or you can put it on ramps, which is what I'm going to do. Um, it makes it easier. So yeah. Okay, so pop the hood. oil cap and then leave it loose okay so cars on the ramps and it's solid so now we're gonna take off the plastic cover For my car, they're all the same, so I'm just gonna put them right there. And then pull. Okay, so I took, the, I took the cover off, and that's the oil drain plug, and then that's the oil filter. There you go. Place the drain pan under the oil pan and then take the plug off. Mine is a 14, so that's what I'm using. Make sure you turn to the turn it to the uh, right side because you don't want to break it. There we go. Seven off. And make sure your car is not hot when you're doing this because you don't want to get burnt with the oil. It's always a good idea to have a rag while you're doing oil change so you can clean. Okay, so old oil is out of the engine. Now um, remove your oil filter too. You can use this, um, let me see. you can use this tool if you want to, but um, I like to just use my hand should be too tight there we go so I just let that drain a little bit more Kind of like loop it up and then uh, put it on again. Um, you don't have to tighten it too much, but like you don't want to leave it loose either, you don't want it to leak oil. So when it turns, I get my bag. Big enough. Now I like the 
this again. And then put the drain plug back on. Get my 14 wrench again. And then tighten it up. Again, you don't want to tighten it up too much. Just enough. That should be good enough. Okay, so the filter's on. Oil plug is back on. There's the old one, old oil. Now we can um, put the plastic cover back on and we'll get some oil in this car. Okay, so take this off. A smaller one would be better, but I have this, so I'm gonna use this. My car takes about um, five quarts, so I can use all this, but make sure you put the right amount. Okay, so I put about four quarts. I'm just gonna roll off the car off the ramps because uh, I want to have the car leveled before I start checking. And if you have uh, jack stands or um, if you do, if you use the jack, just lower the jack and then have the car leveled before you check. Okay, the car is leveled now. I'm just gonna check it and see if I need to add more. So you wipe it and then put it back in. Take it out, and um, you can see it's right there. So I need to add more. So let's do that. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but, but um, it's on the second dot right here, which means it's uh, good. I put 5.2 quarts on this on this car, so yeah, that's a wrap. Now put the cap back on and then start driving. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how to uh, reset the oil life and the filter life on a G37. So you click info. And then you go down to maintenance, and then you go here, and then reset it. Which I'm just gonna set this to 3,000, so I usually have it on 5,000. But and then you go in here, and then reset the distance. And then you click back, go to the oil filter, and then I'm actually gonna set this up to 3,000 too. Reset distance. There we go. It's that simple. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And then, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions or if you guys know a better way of doing this, uh, comment below and let me know. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm also giving away a free Megan Racing muffler. And all you have to do is share any of my videos with a hashtag Garage96. And then once the channel hits a thousand subscribers, I'm going to pick a lucky person and ship it out. So yeah, good luck.